I, I, don't, I probably won't have this many of those. It'll actually probably be this many, actually. Yeah, I think that's that's more the kind of spacing level I'm looking for for these big roads. So again, there's going to be like this pair of um, of grids going on. So that becomes 6400, which I guess makes sense. Like, I want this sort of... There it is. I want this sort of larger grid, but then I want lots of places that deviate from it for lots of different reasons. Even internally to these blocks. Especially going to these somewhat more um, low-density residential areas. It doesn't make sense to have these big things come through. But I still wanted a little bit of a guide. Um, I am going to run through here. And... I think actually go and upgrade this all the way to the six laner, to there. Maybe even something like that. Might get rid of the sharp corner, make a diagonal or something. I don't know. We'll leave that for now. Anyway, we broke a bunch of power, so let's fix that. Excellent. Are you not actually reaching? That's so annoying. Boom. Uh. And things will spread over here. Let's put a little internal park. So. Other parks. Plazas. No, regular parks is what I want. You know what? We're going to get go right for a botanical garden, like, right away. Somewhere. Can we get it to fit nicely somewhere? Ah, it just, just doesn't quite. We can do this, although I guess I'll do the other side. There. Done. It's also going to be a nice way to sort of freely connect power within this. And anyway, we'll let it run. They'll wind some, some but that's okay. Um, so I think there's going to be a bunch of schooling kind of right over here, which is what I'm doing here, right? Because again, lower density residential, higher density residential. I think there'll be kind of a schooling center over here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, happy unbirthday anyway, Drizna. <laughs> uh, turn on Arnarchy to fit buildings in tighter space. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There's lots of things you can do with that. Uh, let's go and get, like, the high school. So, the high school and and um, um, an elementary school here are going to be part of the, the same sort of, you know, scholastic c complex is going to be the idea with that. Uh, so here we're going to go out. 440. i got to rename that hospital, too. Um, let's do this just so I remember. And then 440 goes here. Well, in this direction, we'll keep going at that point. Yeah, you're going to complain about power, but we'll get it hooked up. So, the big hospital over here was going to be uh, the St. Ayers. I think that's how it was, how air was spelled. Um, Dr. Air. I mean, I don't know if Ayers is how you pronounce it, but that's what we're going to do. We have St. Ayers Hospital. Boom. Excellent. The bribes are working. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Okay, so with low density housing, I will definitely feel a lot better with, uh, let's go with the grass strip version for this. And we might want to leave some of these trees here. Again, maybe build another park on this side of things. Uh, but I was going to say, I'll probably feel better if we actually follow a lot of this curvature a little further away so that we don't actually overlap that stuff. It's too much. I guess it might be a little better if I start over here now and then curve in to connect those. Excellent. But I want to lose a little bit of the curving with kind of every layer of this onion. Like maybe even here even turns turn into a straight road. Oh. I think there's a hotkey for snapping. It's probably been answered in the chat already, but... See, something like that. And then here, like, this is virtually straight now. So, now what we're looking to do is... Actually start to build the straight grid. Um, just like here. Now, I might not have the road here, but I just want to get a spacing. I want to leave, like, yeah, a two gap over here between these guys. So you get a little strip of green between the houses. And I keep this going until here. 
And again, our, our grids don't quite line up, and that's good. That's what I want. Uh, oddly enough, this actually almost is in line with the highway. We're getting chocolate. Chat is kind of talking about your bread. Huh? Oh, the sourdough starter. Yeah! My sourdough starter is named Francis. Uh, inspired by, I mean, you know, San Francisco and things like that. <laughs> because sourdough starter is a living thing. Now, it's not so much like we're, we're consuming Francis. I like to think of it more like, you know, imagine we had a cow, right? That, that's all it is. Did I stop using the grass strips at some point? Or are they here and I'm just not seeing it? Because that was my plan. I probably stopped using the grass strips, though. Because that would sort of sound like me. Let's... be nice to get a super even arc here. Looks like maybe something like that. I mean, I know I could use the actual arc tool as well, but... Arc tool never quite works out the way I want. Oh, it looks decent. That's a basic road with parking. Yeah. So, two lane with grass. It's like, I don't see the green. So at some point, I apparently switched the tool around. That may or may not stay there. I don't know what the interconnections between these roads are. Now, low density residential doesn't tend to create much traffic by itself, like not locally. It's whiskey now, and chocolate. That <laughs> kids are hard to kidnap. Hey, haven't seen you in a bit. Uh, you should rename those kids to those schools. Schools for small fat kids and school for big fat kids. Hard to resist. Uh, school for oh, damn it, it went away. Uh. For big fat kids and small fat kids? For sm yeah, for small fat kids. Boom. Oh, I didn't hit enter so it didn't save. Big fat kids. Small fat kids. Enter. Excellent. Okay. We'll get you power soon. Don't worry about it. Since I'm sitting on infinite money, I'm not worried about letting the game run in this inefficient manner. Uh, yeah. Alright, I like that. And then... Do we actually keep going with this? This line and that line as a straight. So there's going to be sort of an offset kind of hockey-shaped grid thing going on. Although, I kind of want to keep this avenue going straight. And we probably will uh, we'll change some of these for, like, grass strips and whatnot later on. But, like... Um, we might want to build an on-off ramp to this thing somewhere. I guess, oh, you know what I can kind of see us doing? What am I building? <laughs> oh! Actually, if those turning lanes work the way that I want, that's, that is, yeah, that, that actually will be cool. We might want to use that everywhere. Let's say we freeform road one, two, three, like this. Over here. And then, uh, probably just, oops, that's not what I want. We'll have to do the other side, you know, we'll have to, to, you know, complete this. There's actually, uh, National Road, two-lane highways, yeah. Do I have, like, two-lane on-off ramp type options, or, I mean, just the two-lane highways would do it just the same. You know, a little bigger. It could be three, but what I'm thinking is going to happen is we'll get the the other side here to kind of merge in. And I don't know what I'm going to want it to look like. I don't know if I'm going to want it to look, go up, go down. Probably up higher. So we probably want something like this, but even higher. I guess two notches is going to be plenty. It's going to be crazy, and we'll probably have to use some sort of anarchy to make this fit. Now that was fun! Woo! Uh, we probably don't want it to be as sharp. Oh! Yeah, that's not the one I want. I don't want two directional. Two lane highway. That's the one I want. There we go. There. And do something like that. Woo! Looks like fun. It really does. And then. Now, ideally, with this, 
you don't want to have people coming on over here and then coming off immediately afterwards. So what we kind of want... This is three levels up, right? Is this the same inline? No, not quite. That looks... That looks about the same. So we kind of want something... I hate that it curves that way, like... It's, it's, that's the reason you have to use like all the road anarchy tools and things. It's like, no, I want it to curve the other way. There you go. More like that. So all of a sudden that looks kind of reasonable. And then... Uh, now this is going to be going the wrong direction, but that's okay. We will invert it after. Yeah, again, I'll have to use some anarchy here to get that to go. And then the question is... Yeah, that'll work. And then... Invert. It's funny that, like, this arrow... I guess it's because it overlaps in different ways. Yeah, that's fine. And then grab this and sort of... Move that kind of like that. I hit the wrong button. There we go. Delete you like that. And then we'll probably realign this. You know. Because I don't know if this is exactly what I want. But it's not too bad, actually. And it's like two to two. Oh, you. No. There's no reason you should ever do that. Uh, This. To there. To no. There we go. Excellent. Now, there's no traffic lights here anyway, so that's fine. But yeah, no one should be making a U-turn over here. Super not legal. Nova. But see, now that we've got that, then this little street here... Which is kind of a little offset from the way I'd probably want it. Huh? I'm still in bulldoze mode. say you went in a straight line. I mean, you can't literally unless we go into anarchy mode. Let's do that. And then maybe, like, develop this side of it as well. This will probably be a grid that actually follows this road sequence, though. But it might interconnect. I don't know exactly what we want there. But something. Okay, now, meanwhile, here... Let me get, let me continue this little guide road here. Uh, and again, two extra notches. Like that. And go out here. And then similarly here, we're going to go there. One, two. Okay, I'll have to turn off the auto bulldoze mod. There's literally nothing to, um... Well, there might be, I suppose. Yeah, right. <laughs> all these, all these things are bad. Okay, let's let's leave it pause for a bit, so we can go and resolve. Okay, let's do a quick save here. Uh, just do this, just in case there's something that gets corrupted. Um, to main menu, I like auto bulldoze. It it immediately gets rid of like abandoned buildings and stuff, so they can be rebuilt. Auto bulldoze does not work with park life. Well, see, everyone on Twitter told me everything got uploaded right, er, updated right away. Uh, what about auto empty? Does it work? I wonder why auto bulldoze doesn't work. That seems, that seems like such a basic little tool. I wonder if auto emptying works with Park Life. <laughs> oh yeah, it could be the sewage power got turned off. That's probably it. Something probably got cut somewhere. Mm -hmm. Twitter lied to you? No way! I know, right? Well, actually, I was surprised at, like, the traffic manager is fully updated. There's a new version of Auto Bulldoze by another author. Ah! Uh, send me a tweet with the link or something like that. So I'll remember to do it later on. I know it said last updated three years ago, but, like, Auto Bulldoze is such a basic, like, command that I, I, would, I was surprised that it could break. 
This is not going to do the arc the way I quite want. I need like a scooch more length over here, which I guess actually with snapping off, we might be able to get you... I mean, I want angle snapping. No, I think I have to do this. And something like that. There we go. And like that. Nice. And if we do another one of those, eh, we'll probably get another round because it's nice. What I really want, um, and one of the things I talked to Paradox at at ParadoxCon, is like, I want Twitch integration for Paradox games. Not, it doesn't have to necessarily be voting. Although, imagine CK2 with Twitch voting for like decisions. That would be kind of awesome. But like, just for like name integration. I want to like pull follower names or subscriber names to auto name streets and stuff like that. Like, how amazing would that be? And this is the sort of thing that's not hard to do. I should do a tutorial on how to add um, Twitch integration to a Unity game or something. I need to add that to my uh, my to-do list. I've actually got two tutorials I'm, I'm probably going to do this week. Um, like, uh, not like a one-off tutorials. A couple of one-off tutorials. Um, and then we'll go back to the um, Project Panzer to do the uh, the multiplayer lobby stuff at some point. But, uh, but I should do that. That'd probably be just a one or two episode thing as well. Anywho. Um, so this intersection is actually, like, mechanically fine. It does look, like, super derpy, and not, I'm just going to want to, like, realign things to make them look all cool and smooth and move some of the ways that these connect up. Um, for example, one thing is, I mean, one thing that makes more sense at this point is to, you know, just split that in two, but we could actually have the two singletons come off of there at the same time. Um, the other thing that would could make a lot of sense is, you know, do you have that be smoother this way or not? Do you have it come over here and then go smooth that way? Like, I was trying to get it nicely aligned to the existing ramp. Heck, I could pull this back further. Okay, well, not exactly that way. There's a bunch of ways we could build this to look neater. Um, it's not ex I mean, I guess in a sense it's a trumpet interchange is what we're doing but with, with a different kind of priority idea. I actually don't know what, what's going to happen to the nodes here in terms of how the cars will actually treat that. We will see. But the traffic here is going to flow awesome. This The fact that this is a turn as opposed to... This will cause cars to slow down and make that corner. So it probably is ultimately better if it's more like this. So now there's no slowdowns. It's just cars going straight. And then, you know, let's figure out some way to make this look cool. I don't know what that will be. Turns out, I am not someone who instinctually knows what cool is. I know. I'm sure that's a surprise to all you other computer nerds out there. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure something out. I do like, like, the, the high elevations, though. Whee! I like this one. You know you're going to take a little... You know when you're driving, you get that little whoosh, that little, like, feeling of, like, weightlessness in your butt? It's like, ah! That's exactly what's going to happen right here. Because people are going to take this at, like, 100. Vroom! <laughs> and it's going to be great. Anyway. Um, let's just... I'm just going to bulk zone this entire area here. Something like that. Although, I can sort of foresee... And again, I'm, I'm going with, like, a very design-driven idea at this time. So, like... This is why we've got... We're sort of doing things in a weird, chaotic order. But that's... I just did that because I want to rezone this to low-density commercial. I don't know if we're going to do that to both sides. We may. I mean, certainly these, like, half-zoned areas need to go away. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the deal is. Fix the highways you have the overpass is way too low. Uh, listen, just because cars are going to get clipped over here. Yeah. Um, and these two are separate heights as well. Which is a little weird, although not unrealistic. Yeah, this one got all kinds of high. I think the fix is to take, uh, is to lower this one. I feel like that's the most reasonable thing, because now both of these will be slightly more level. And yeah, you know, trucks won't actually get clipped. I mean, they're, st they're still looking to get clipped now, but... 
try to even these two off. Because the one on the left is fine. It's just the one on the right here that's clearly... Is there another node here? Well, there's one there. And then there. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's, that's clearance. You can get through there. That's fine. Okay, we need some garbage services. Um, let me go and build, like... Just go nuts with incinerators. And a recycling place over here on the other side. Boom. There. Let that go for now. Because that's part of one of the issues why everyone's complaining. And then, you know, not everything's turned on everywhere. And you don't have coverage for water here. So let's go and get this resolved. 440. One day, I might consider, like, if there's some sort of mod that makes this step a little obsolete, it wouldn't be the worst. It's whiskey and chocolate! Yeah, it's whiskey and chocolate?! Who's bribing me now? It's Toon Dude again! I'm a killer. Excited for the new Creative Seder Kings 2 expansion? Holy Fury, it looks really fun. Yes! That was the thing I was most excited about at PDXCon. Well, probably the board games. Um, partially because it's the first thing that's gonna come out, right? Uh, Holy Fury, it's not very far away, and that is always a big part of, like, what I allow myself to get hyped about. Um... But yeah, I've, I've wanted to play CK2 again in a bit, and I'm particularly excited about this one. I think it's gonna make the gameplay really fun. The only question is, are you gonna play Pagan for the Build Your Own Religion, or are you gonna play um, Christians for the new Crusading mechanics? All kinds of interesting options. But yeah, I'm really pumped. So the garbage trucks do have to travel really far to get here, but I think we'll actually be okay. Most excited thing about E3, I really haven't been following the E3 news. So without the auto bulldoze, these things will go away eventually, right? But in the meantime, they're like bringing down like housing levels and making people unhappy, if I recall correctly. I think that's the case. Now, if we want people to move in, uh, we're gonna need various services. I'm gonna start by parking it up. Uh, if I can vaguely remember where those things are. Yeah, we'll get some, some nice little playgrounds. That fits in nicely there. Uh, park with trees. Oh, this is actually too wide for the structures that I've been building. Although, this would be a decent place for it. Apparently we don't actually have a straight corner there. It's fine. We'll have a park near the highway. I mean, you know, no one wants to live right next to it, so that'll be a way to make use of that space. We have another park over here. We'll get a Japanese garden in this area, too. Maybe actually on the highway. Right there. All right, a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we'll get some public train. What is this? Tour buses? Neat! Uh, I don't know, we'll build some metro right away. Whatever, we got we got tons of money. Um, I don't think I want a metro stop on this island. Instead, I'm gonna do it right across the street. Right there. Uh, I've learned a long time ago, don't actually make it flushed intersections. You're just asking for trouble if ever you wanna like upgrade your intersections or something like that. Uh, so we'll have a couple in town here. I don't know. That's already a pretty big one. Maybe we can, Oh, with Move It, we can really mess with these a little more. Or with Road Anarchy or something. There's got to be some way we can, like, avoid horrible problems with deciding to make a change to our, our subway structure later on. Probably? I don't know. There's probably a way that you can avoid... Because the problem is, you, like, if you're forced to like bulldoze the stop, then it ruins all your lines. So let's just get a line that goes back and forth along here. 